Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you how to quickly add a frame just like Ali Abdal. With my footage on the timeline, we can go on up to our generators. Selecting our generators, just look up the shapes generator and go ahead and apply that down onto the timeline. Then go to the top right hand corner, find your generator settings and change it from circle over to square. After that, we can select the transform tool and I'm gonna push command minus to zoom out. From there, we can go ahead and just adjust this so that it's the right shape for what we want and we can drag up the roundness slider. Now an issue we'll face is by default, this has a little drop shadow to it. And so that can actually mess with the end result. So to fix that, go ahead and set your drop shadow opacity down to zero. After that, we can push done. With the rectangle selected, go on up to your video inspector. Under your blend mode, change it from normal over to stencil alpha. Now you should have a nice frame around your image, but there's a couple issues you might run into. One is if we want to apply a backdrop underneath this, you'll notice that the backdrop does not come through the black edges. That is because this rectangle with its stencil alpha blend mode is not allowing anything underneath for it to come through. So to fix that, we have a couple options. One option is to click and drag your background to be above everything. Then going over to your blend mode, change it from normal over to behind. And while this can be a great method, you're going to run into some issues if you ever want to apply, say, a drop shadow. So rather than doing that, let's go ahead and apply our backdrop to be underneath everything. We'll extend our rectangle to be the duration of our video. Select both the rectangle layer and the video layer, right click and select new compound clip. Then we can push OK. Now we can go over to our effects browser and look up the drop shadow effect. Go ahead and apply that on and you should be good to go. Now, if you don't want to go through all of these steps every single time, then I highly recommend you create a template in Apple Motion. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Don't worry, even if you've never used Apple Motion in your life, you can absolutely do this. Go ahead and open up Motion, then select the Final Cut effect. I highly recommend you leave your preset at whatever you typically edit with. So I'm going to leave this at 4K. We can set the frame rate to 2398 and leave your duration at whatever you like. From there, we can go ahead and push open. Inside of motion, we're going to select our rectangle tool. Go ahead and create a rectangle roughly the size of what you want for your outer edge. Then go on over to your inspector in the top left hand corner and disable the outline. After that, go into your geometry settings. In here, you'll find this roundness slider. Go ahead and drag that up to your liking. Once you've got that set, right click on the layer labeled effect source, and we'll go ahead and select add image mask. Now we can click and drag this rectangle into that image mask. And just like that, we have cut out this effect source layer. Now all we need to do is push command S and just save this as Ali Abdal frame. And we can throw this into whatever category we like. I will put it in my tutorials category and push publish. Now we can go back into Final Cut Pro. I'm going to push command shift G to break apart this compound clip and go ahead and delete that top shape. So we should just be left with our video clip. Now we can go ahead and look up our Ali Abdal frame and apply that onto that video clip. And just like that, we've applied this outer edge onto this clip. Now we can go in and apply stuff like the drop shadow. And what's really great is this does not need to sit inside of a compound clip. If this video was helpful to you in any way, consider pressing that like button. Also, you might want to check out this video where I show you how to recreate the Ali Abdal picture in picture effect. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.